The Science Council you know, is very well placed to take up some of the big challenges, and the big challenges around climate change, around the way in which new information technologies are impacting health, the way health inequity is working. But we can't take on all of those issues. They're all important. I think we have to find what's the area where we can have a particularly strategic impact. You know, science is developing so fast around the world. We as scientists, um, as health scientists, um, will need to work hand in hand with, with people who are developing this, these uh, technologies so that it really is there for the greater good rather than um, purely for commercial purposes. The opportunity that we've had through the Science Council to try to see ways to bring the products of, of, of deep fundamental science to the advancement of health for people everywhere in the world has been very gratifying. I think the number one health problem in the world is inequality. And I think science has a lot to contribute in monitoring inequalities, in testing innovative solutions to reach, uh, in this case, I'm talking about children because this is my area of work, in this case, to reach the children who need it most. The emerging infections, we had COVID, now we have Nipah, we have Dengue, all these, we need high throughput technology for many of these vaccines to come our way. And with the discussions we are having in the Science Council, technology is becoming available not only in the Western Hemisphere or in the North, but in countries like ours. We will need to, you know, look at areas that are kind of hybrid between medicine and health and other areas, like for example, IT. We really need to make sure that the young generation really get to know not only about the medicine and biology and the you know, health issues, but also the related issues that would make their careers much more successful you know, in the future. Science has been critical as it has been in addressing any threat to mankind. Uh, it's going to be essential in, in understanding and responding to climate change. It's going to be and has been important for, for uh, working uh, to ameliorate chronic diseases of many kinds, and uh, you know, science is a way of understanding the world. I'm an optimist, and I feel that things are changing, and with experts together, and with uh, the WHO with us, there will be a difference.